I go by the name of Chris Vick, and welcome back to the Game Lounge. With Calissa in the background. Alexa, shut up. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. For help, go to your Altice Amplify app. Alright, tell somebody who cares. <laughs> tell somebody who cares. I don't. I don't, my dude. Air me out, dude. I don't really give a damn, dude. Anyway, so, like I said, guys, good evening. Welcome to the Game Lounge. Tonight, playing a one-time file episode of Deadpool. So, I wound up doing a one-time file episode before with Isaiah Nicholson. Um, shout out to Isaiah. He's the host of the Zay Zay Zone, a very informative YouTube channel which talks about some of our childhood TV shows, icons, and whatnot. So if you guys get a chance, make sure you tune into him Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I believe it just changed to Wednesday and Friday, but it's still 2 o'clock, and it's still hopefully. But I thought I wound up doing another one-time file episode because I wound up kind of having myself backed up with certain things so i didn't want to put too much of the same stuff out so i like to mix it up for you guys um one of my favorite missions in this bad boy though is genosha because i don't know if y'all paying attention to the shit in the background but i forgot so genosha was a good level because of the fact that it wind up making uh i wind up making it like the real first combat part except for you know the first episode that i did it was great but long story short we wind up getting flown to genosha with uh, the X-Men, we were with Rogue, we were with Psylocke, and you see Wolverine right there. The Interact is just me being able to get a bio about them and stuff, but I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with these people. But yeah, Domino, Psylocke, Rogue, and uh, um, Wolverine, of course. But yeah, so on Genosha, you just go about finding out that this was actually a, like, test site. Not a test site, but really just a, a, a ground zero of where the Sentinels wind up, like, killing a whole bunch of mutants. And they just destroyed it. So, Genosha was probably short for genocide, and it makes a lot of sense. Hold that for me. Oh. And this game, hands down, is just really enjoyable to play in general. So when y'all heard Guns and Swords... Because there's pistols and katanas involved. Hello, guys. Okay. Jesus. Sorry, I was out here wasting my time trying to aim. We do this shit backwards. Whoa. Uh, 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 oh, okay, hold on. Circle button works, right? Because I know I'm countering. You're not going to make me seem like I'm not. Ah oh, shit. Forgot about this fat motherfucker coming from the sky. Stop dropping my camera, player. That thing was expensive. Now get up. Funny shit is I would have stayed standing if this motherfucker didn't go about doing his whole entrance. The wrong time to get tough. My boy came in here with the heavy heavy body complex. Stay your ass asleep. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta check these out. Haha, <laughs> pulse rifles. Turn everybody into whatever that was. <laughs> meatloaf. Just turn this man into meatloaf. Actual ground beef. The supermarket would love you. Ten dollars awaited. Okay, where was I going again? Oh yeah, this way. So yeah, they'll give you an update about Genosha. You'll get it in a second. I think he said, no, nah, I'm sticking with timeshare. I'm pretty sure it was a timeshare. <laughs> so, everybody's having a great Friday. Happy Friday. If you guys work this weekend, may your weekend be nice and easy. I know I work this weekend, finally. Not that I want to. But, you know, money's got to be made somehow, right? Okay. <laughs> so, hope you guys have your good weekend. If you're off, turn up. Enjoy yourself. Be safe. And don't do anything that the normal American wouldn't do. We actually don't. Oh shit. Hold on. What I don't know is that I'm using a power which allows me to be invincible for about 10 seconds. Alright, I'm gonna shoot you in the face. Um. Well, for those of you who are pretty new to the game, the game consists of you playing from a third person, of course. 
and having a selection of four different types of guns and four different types of weapons. Oh, hey, melee weapons. Actually, no, I'm sorry, you get three melee weapons. Nobody cares. We know who Cable is, time traveler and stuff like that. I believe the son of Scott Summers, something like that. At least my fandom is probably wrong, I don't know. Here we go. This is what you wanted, guys. Because you can have it. But as I was saying, the game consists of you having four, uh, four different types of guns. You get pistols. You get shotguns. You get pulse rifles. Whoa. Oh, wait, hold on. You get pulse rifles and you get an SMG. For the weapons, you have the original katanas. Everybody knows, whoever's a Deadpool fan knows you get the katanas. You get size, kind of like Raphael. Well, not kind of, but exactly like Raphael from the Ninja Turtles. And these deliciously awesome hammers. I love these hammers. These hammers go about, you know, Hulk smash. as it. Hulk puts you down for good. Oh, sorry. I missed. Is he dead? Okay, he sure did. And the game is pretty dope. Of course, you know, I don't know if you got, to those who do know Deadpool, breaking the fourth wall and talking to people and stuff like that, as if he was talking to you, kind of the thing. So, oh shit. It's getting real annoying killing all you clones, you know? It's like shooting the same guy over and over again. You would trip balls after that. Like, yo, didn't I just kill you? Yeah, but I got another me. Oh. Here I was going, not listening. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, stabby, 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 stabby. Ooh. When the game first came out, I was cool with it. I was like, that's oh, not a bad game. Then I started playing it more, and I'm like, okay, this is actually pretty worthy. Like, it's got it's got a solid gameplay. Like, aside from the fact that you know it's uh, well, actually no, I I can't really see no downsides about it. I feel like it's a good pinnacle of. Deadpool, like it shows each side. You get the healing factor, of course, and you get the dialogue. You get the gameplay. You get the abilities. Yeah, so everything's just kind of everything's kind of just perfect about this game. It didn't get much of a good review, and I think the reason why is because of the fact that it was just. I feel like it was released at a time that people wasn't really like that focused on the superheroes. And I know that sounds weird. Like, what do you mean he wasn't? They wasn't focused on superheroes. They had to be. No, I mean. I feel like when Avengers came out, everything else was just irrelevant. Everything else. If it didn't have a Marvel movie that was recently made, it was not, like, really concerned. Like, the the Iron Man movies were dope. The Spider-Man No Way Home movies were dope. The, uh, the Thor movies were dope. The Hulks. Like, if you didn't start off at that point, when it came to that, I don't know. It just it didn't, it didn't get much of the love it's supposed to. Because personally, the game is solid. There's not really anything glitchy about it. The dialogue is hilarious. Um, the aiming and the sights and stuff. Everything's great. Everything's perfect. And it looks good, too. Like, the suit looks genuine. When you get damaged, you go about seeing it in the suit. Not most games do that. It's just really, yeah, stick it to a health bar. But here, you, like, really see yourself get fucked up. <laughs> Whoa. Almost missed that. <laughs> more clones up here all right boys this <laughs> is a good thing bullets are cheap what they're not cheap and then the thing about him deadpool is that he has two sides to his brain and stuff i call one screwball well I, uh, one one is screwball i call the other one colonel i don't know why it's just he talks like we should go about trying to make sure everything's okay and the other one's like well i don't know maybe we should just leave him there to bleed out it's not like it'll it'll matter anymore because they're gonna die anyway. And the positive, the strong voice is like, "Oh well, the game wouldn't want that, and we wouldn't want that either." And Deadpool is like, "What the fuck are you guys talking about? I'm just in the middle of this conversation. I have no idea what's going on." And of course, you get some very specialized enemies. All right, let's hurry you up, up close and personal. You got the job. See you later. <laughs> like a boss. 
By the way, this is where I be getting my stuff. No, I don't know if I, I don't know if I say it enough, but I normally would pick up something in the game and be like, "That looks important." That's because of this game. <laughs> like that inspired me to want to say it. Like this looks important. Cause for real, like it was glowing blue over there. I'm just like, I agree. I it caught my attention. It looks important. Let's see. And as we said before, it was a big ass genocide that happened years ago here that wind up having the Sentinels fight off against people and stuff. Imagine that grabbing you, yo. You got to sit back and think about how Sentinels were literally just robots hell bent on destroying mutants. Like they were literally created for that exact purpose. And these ships were like 80 stories tall, just beating the shit out of people, just smashing their hands and shooting the beams out their palms and stuff. It was crazy. If you play the Origins game, then you had to fight a Sentinel. That was the first Mark I Sentinel that wound up being made. And, uh... Sorry, buddy. You didn't cut the case. You cut it short. But yeah, so the Sentinels were just big-ass mutant hell-bent killing uh, machines. Um, I think made by, like, America, like, people. Because mutants, of course, didn't get along with people because they felt like they were freaks. They got special abilities, which can cause catastrophic things. Like, there's mutants out there that have super strong claws that come out their hands. There's mutants that can control the weather. Mutants that can shoot lasers out their eyes. I'm talking about ones that y'all know, of course. And then other ones that got incredibly godly powers. We're not going to even get to Magneto. Magneto's built different. But, um, when it comes to... Oh, yeah, he swear he got a fangirl. I don't even know how he got mixed up with this. Wait till you see what happens. I'm gonna just let me just take a feel. Ah! I'd ask what that was about, but I don't want to know. Time is short. We need to get you to Magneto's old citadel across the island. <coughs> Copy that. Fantasy. Don't worry, we'll land a someday. This is our game. Wait, mm -hmm. listening. Don't even bother with that security tower. Sinister is up there broadcasting his. Oh, well, hold up. Mr. Sinister is up there? As in the S-hole who killed that other A-hole who was my contract? One side, Summers. I got me some business to finish. Damn it, Wade, stop! We don't have time to... Man, don't tell me what to do. I'm already over the gate. <laughs> Having a little fun, huh? You know what else is fun? Pointing out how much... There's no need to be quiet. I threw a grenade by mistake. <laughs> oh, was I shooting and flipping? Shooting and flipping. Shooting and flipping. Let's go, gentlemen. We don't have all day. I need answers, and none of you have them. So let's find the ones who do. Shotguns are so lethal up close, bro. Okay. I could charge it, too. Hehehehe. <laughs> Splatskies. Here's your water closer. Ooh. Also, Deadpool's a huge fan of chimichangas. Don't know why. But the bars on the left allow you to do special abilities and stuff like stun, completely kill, maybe afflict a lot of damage, or even just go about helping you clear the room of enemies and stuff like that. I like how he just made it snow in one spot. All right, all right, all right. Wanna get frosty? Let's get frosty. Damn. You ain't even last long enough for me to kill you, man. Damn. There's another one? Oh, big ass mosquito. Come here, let me talk to you. My bullets just want to pierce your thoughts, that's all. Uh, oh, get me out of there. Uh, clear in the room. Night, night, fellas. You got good aim. So do I. Now, to be honest, I'm not much of a shooter person. Because it's just like, I don't know. It just don't catch my eye. But, like I said, this is one of those games that have a really comfortable... Sorry, let me get behind this. That have a really comfortable feel behind it that makes you want to just keep playing. Because, I don't know, it's just... The vibration from the controller feels real consistent. It just adds up with the trigger pulling. It's a really, uh... It's a really good, um... Atmosphere to the game. 
Come on, man. Oh, shit. I forgot those things can stick to my leg. Night, night, buddy. I'll pick his gun up, but it's like a sit there, short fuse kind of grenade launching gun. And nobody wants that. You're trying to beat me in a battle of exploding clones, huh, Summers? Well, you won't. I, it's my game. Shit. I will obliterate your ass as soon as I get the chance to. Yeah. You about to join him. Tell me how the afterlife is. You got front row tickets, pussy. Somebody else? How many of you dudes are there? I don't know, bullets. Let's stab him up then. Ah, whoa. Anybody order any filet min, min filet minion? Uh huh. Yeah, I know you got that. I know y'all got that one. Filet mignon, filet minion, because they're minions and they do the bidding. Of, I'm gonna stop now, cause I know, I know one. One of y'all got that. One of y'all did. One of the dads watching the show was like, "Bro, I know what you was trying to say, but damn, if that wasn't corny as fuck." All right, so now we're talking about the tower entrance. <laughs> It gets a little crazy after a while, because of course this is Deadpool, so nothing makes sense. So we're going to spin this wheel, and we're going to win something. We could win a billion dollars. Totally going to win that one. Check it out. Nope. Instead, you got the magnetic apocalypse. It's a bundle of fun. Imagine being in a tornado with a bunch of metal scrap flying around. And you're in it. Fun, right? So now I gotta climb to the top. Oh shit. I keep forgetting these things getting pulled up. So I gotta climb to the top of this shit using these magnetic things floating around. And then, uh, yeah. These platforms don't feel very stable. Your mom doesn't feel very Then there'll be more at the top. Cause that's what problems cause. Here we go. Next one. This time we make our own luck. I'm gonna win that billion dollars if it's the last thing I do. Ready? Go! <laughs> Fucking. Nice try, wheel. There are no cows on Genosha. Well, would you be surprised if. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. Oh, I could kill that cow. Ha ah, ha! Hamburgers for everyone. <laughs> Making it. Whoa. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, perfect timing. Perfect timing. I gotta get to the top of this damn thing. Yeah. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Ha ha. All right, billion dollars. Why there's a house? We're not gonna just explain Dorothy's house from the uh, Wizard of Oz in this bitch. I just killed a cow. <laughs> oh fuck! Almost there. Almost there. Ah! Uh, don't chop my head off. It's not like I wouldn't grow it back anyway. That's a sentinel foot. Oh shit! <laughs> we'll get to that later. Don't worry. You'll see. All right, sinister. Time to pay the pan. What the? To you! That looks very uncomfortable. You. Me! <laughs> Us! You repulsive, putrid hate. <coughs> Destroying this tower will do nothing to stop my plans to instill genetic perfection upon this world. Nothing you do will stop my master. Nigga, I'm Deadpool. You forgot. I'm about to fuck everything up. Stuck in there. No. <laughs> <laughs> right in his face, though, like... So then, Jesus Christ. If I played with this. Yeah. Wait, what are you doing? No, don't touch that! I don't know about you, but... The 
This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Jesus Christ, fuck it up all this type of mainframe. Welcome back to the dance floor. We're gonna have Minister Sinister losing his fucking mind out here. House EDM. It brings the house down. Oh, what the fuck is Dangatang? <laughs> Dang a what? And that's how you mess something up. Hey, Summers! Was that the big problem you needed help with? Because I just took care of it. Like a boss! Huzzah! <laughs> Huzzah! Wasn't seriously. Roll credits. We're done. <laughs> Ass? Tacos. Smell it from here. Samantha? Oh, she makes the best. Wait. What if you could never eat one of Samantha's tacos ever again? What you talking about, Thumber? Mr. Sinister is going to kill Samantha. Destroy all her tacos. Not Samantha. Not the tacos. Not that earth that you had floating there as a replication of us. I'm sorry, you forgot that I'm not paying attention to what? Anyway, the real Mr. Sinister is holed up on Magneto's old citadel on the far side of the island. Easily a day's walk, so we'd better... Fuck walking. Get ready for plan awesome! I told you this food's gonna come in handy. <laughs> if you insist on me building this thing, then I'll need two parts. My readings show the first one is that way. And that is our episode for the evening. So, if I wind up doing the next episode, I'll probably wind up, you know, continuing from this part to go about making sure y'all can see what happens next. But, thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Game Lounge. I appreciate you guys very much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Any game ideas you might have, please send them in. It'll be a pleasure to try your games out and stuff like that. And until next time, game until you sleep. Have a good night, guys.